Welcome to Broken Bushcraft. This is an impromptu video. I was just sitting by the chimney and I thought of something that happened a couple years ago. I talked about boiling water in glass and I got skewered for it and I didn't do the video because I forgot. <laughs> so let's show you how to boil water in glass and other containers in case you need to do that um, out there in the woods. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share. Let's kick this off. Now boiling water in glass or like an aluminum can or anything like that, you can't put it directly in the fire because the aluminum can will melt. Glass sometimes will shatter because this in here sometimes is colder, obviously, than the fire. So you have to kind of slow roll this. Also, if you have uh, like this, a container like this, a glass bottle or a glass drinking bottle, and it has a plastic ring, make sure you take that off or you're gonna lose that. Another container we can use is a mason jar. I find these things all in my woods all the time and just old and busted and stuff like that. Some of them are cracked, some of them are really in good shape. So let's put these in my fancy chimney. Now I cleared a little spot right here in the front. I'm gonna put my mason jar in there. And I'm also gonna put my little Pyrex jar and see how long it takes them to boil. You already see the problem, right? How am I gonna get these out of here? Don't worry, little baby birds, I got you. So it's been about five minutes. This one's already boiling. It's getting a good rolling boil there. This one's starting to boil. But now you have to consider, how am I getting these out of here? This is an extra problem because this is my chimney, not an open fire. Open fire would be easier, but why do it the easy way, right? So it's been about seven minutes. I had to let the phone cool down because it got too hot because it was too close to fire. So easy way to do this is find a stick with a Y. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna pinch the top of the bottle and lift it out in an enclosed area like this. Let's see if it works. Be careful. Take it out and set it down. I'm not gonna mess with it. So the second bottle's too big for me to use this with. So what am I gonna do? Improvise. So the second one we gotta get out, has this overhead to it, it's not gonna work. My stick with the Y in it, got too frail pulling that one out, and this is too heavy. So get yourself two pieces of wood or two sticks, two durable sticks. Pinch it and bring it right out and right to a flat surface fast. That way it doesn't spill on you. Now let them cool down and you're ready to go. Another way to get the bottle out of the fire is if it has a neck like this is with a string and a stick. I'm gonna show you that right now. So another way to get the bottle out or a bottle out or a can out, whatever you need, is you take a stick and you measure, you just kind of eye the diameter of the neck of the bottle. And then you just tie a little slip knot right here at the base or any knot really, just tie a knot so it's in the middle. I'll show you why it's important to be in the middle in a second. So I got my little loop here. So there's the bottle. If it was in the fire, you take your stick on the loop, push it in there, and then pull it up. That's just another way for you see, you can see that I did this before and it failed. Um, the rope burned. <laughs> so there it is, and it can come out, and then you quickly just move it to where you need to put it. So there you go, you let it cool off, and you got drinkable water from a glass jar. So that's how you boil water in glass. Now the same principle works for aluminum. Keep it on the outskirts of the fire where it's still hot, but it's not gonna scorch that and burn that can up. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoy that. I'll see you in the woods. Impromptu, baby.